Hey nerds, Mike here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a simple and clean mobile WooCommerce product carousel using Elementor and CrocoBlock and a little bit of CSS. So let's hop right into this. Okay, so you're gonna need CrocoBlock, more specifically the JetWoo Builder. More specific to that, in the widgets, make sure you have Products Grid turned on. By default, when you install JetWoo Builder, all these are already activated. So just in case you might have messed around, you could go ahead and turn that back on. Next, you wanna make sure you have Elementor installed already. And it's ideal to have your WooCommerce product images sized exactly the same, as well as optimized, of course. And uh, let's just hop right into this. Okay, let's go to the page you wanna edit. Now from within the page, you'll see I have two of these. We have one for the desktop and for the mobile. Reason being is that the product grid does not show, it does not allow you to turn carousel on and off for desktop and mobile. And for this site, it makes a little bit more sense for the desktop to have only a couple of images and the mobile to show a little bit more because you could have more of an interaction with the mobile version. So let me show you the settings that I used. Go up to the top and add the grid. This is the products grid, not the categories grid. With the products grid in there, we can now select it. For this, I only had preset one selected. The number of columns I have set to six, reason being on desktop view when I'm looking at everything, uh, that way it doesn't show a whole bunch of products and make things really sized up as you can see here. Now it's taking up so much room. You don't see this on the front end, but this does make it a pain to edit. So that's why I go ahead and have the column set to six for desktop view. From there, you could go ahead and select all the settings you'd like to see. For me, I had equal columns height selected. I turned off gaps between and I had turned on make products item clickable. So that way the images are clickable as well. From there, I had my sorting on, which I will not sort for right now. For the images, because I have everything sized the same and as well optimized, I go ahead and select full for the image sizes. So that way it's not cropped and downsized. From there, I turned off the product excerpt, turned off categories and tags, left the price on, and had the add to cart button visible. So I turned off the product rating as well. And that's all the settings that I had as far as the main content settings for the product grid. Now down below underneath general, you can select carousel. From there, you can enable carousel, turn off navigation, turn off autoplay, turn off infinite loop, enable free mode and leave animation speed at 500. Now for styling these items, you can kind of do whatever you want. I'm not gonna go too deep into that just because that takes a little bit more time. Uh, for the most part, all I did is add a little bit more gap in between the images. I obviously customized the fonts as well as increased the buttons padding. Once you get the desired styles selected, you could go ahead and as you continue down, you could go ahead and copy and go ahead and paste those styles in there. So now for the most part, we are pretty much done as far as getting the whole box set up, but not exactly done. We need to make a couple of different changes to the CSS and to the section that we're in. So let's head up to the main section that this is in, select it. We wanna make sure that the overflow is hidden. And now what we wanna do is add in some CSS to make sure that the products are a little bit smaller to give us that little edge view. So that way it kind of looks like there's something off the edge of the screen for mobile view. Uh, so that way people kind of know, hey, let me slide over to see that. You could go ahead and select the product that you're in, go to advanced and custom CSS. And you can go ahead and copy this code over, which I have pasted down below in the description. Basically what this code is doing is it's telling that the JetWoo carousel uh, the, and the swiper container itself is 75% smaller compared to the screen and the overflow is visible. So that way the box is smaller and because of that, it only wants to show one column at a time. So by shrinking it and saying that the overflow is visible, now that second column is visible and you could see it. But what we wanted to do, like I mentioned earlier, is the section needs to be hidden because if that's visible and it's overflowing out of that section, you're gonna have the screen kind of mess up. So that way when people start swiping to the left or right, it's gonna move the entire page, which we don't want. So section needs to be hidden for overflow, but the item itself needs to be visible. And what I did so that way the code isn't on every single item, I went ahead and added in a uh, HTML, a custom HTML widget 
and all I did is add style tags. And within the style tags, I pasted the CSS code. So that way it affects the entire page without the code being loaded over and over again on every single thing. You can also do this multiple, multiple ways. You can add it to a child theme, or you could even add it into the page settings using Elementor multiple ways, just find a way to put that code onto that page wherever these elements are, and you're gonna have that look. Now that you know how to make this awesome product carousel. Another problem we see small business face is figuring out why their visitors aren't turning into customers. We made a free PDF for you that goes over three reasons why your visitors aren't customers and how to fix these common issues. You can click on the link in the description, download the PDF and start implementing these tips today. And before you leave, leave a like if this helped you, comment your favorite CrocoBlock plugin and if you find yourself watching another one of our videos, consider getting subscribed. And if you're considering buying Elementor or Kroku Block, go ahead and use our affiliate links because they really do help. And until next time, Banzai!